Fall is here, but today I'm feeling like the king of everything. Hi everyone, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor here at Us Weekly Magazine, with this week's super special guest, Sarah Bareilles, everyone. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> She's got her new CD, which I love. I reviewed it recently in Us Weekly. Uh, Kaleidoscope Heart, out now. Uh, the single king of anything, tearing up the charts, as we know. Ooh, and, I'm uh, violent. And some tour, well, a little yeah. bit. If you know the story <laughs> behind that song, which you do, but I don't know. <laughs> Only you can say that, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, she's here. We're very lucky to have her uh, on this very special album release week. Uh, but right now, we are going to bring you the top five sizzling stories from our new issue right here on smagazine.com. First up, Bristol Palin is nervous about Dancing with the Stars. Well, I mean, we were all surprised when Bristol Palin was announced as one of the new contestants on Dancing with the Stars, and no one was more surprised and terrified than Bristol herself. A source says she was nervous and terrified and she's still very scared. And her dancing partner, Mark Bayless, is also skeptical. Apparently he wanted someone with more dancing skills. Uh, but now, uh, you know, Bristol is plowing ahead. Mark is actually excited because she has a lot of determination. And Bristol told us that she uh, is, you know, looking forward to the to the tanning, to the glitter, uh, and her costumes won't be that revealing. She's gonna, you know, have a little Republican edge on it, so, you know. <laughs> I can imagine nothing worse than being nervous about, uh, you know, learning how to dance and then having your teacher be nervous for you and like being like, I don't know if you can do it. Yeah, it's double that, nerves. Right. But maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll push her over the edge. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Go Bristol. And next, John Mayer, no girls for now. Yes, remember John Mayer. You know, he's dated a lot of a lot of people. <laughs> A whole lot of people. But anyway, he's apparently been brought down a peg, a source says, after his last album didn't do so well. I mean, it did pretty well. But uh, And then his Playboy interview, uh, where he was a bit embarrassed by some of his own comments, uh, a source says that he's actually just staying up all night, playing on his iPad, girls will call. And in the old days, he used to run to them and, you know, have a little hookup here and there. Uh, now he's not doing that anymore. He's not even calling back a lot of the time. He's just, you know, laying low, not really trying to do all that anymore. See, I, I like that. I like seeing that John is going to focus on music. I love, I'm a huge John Mayer fan, and I think that, um, I think the music that we were getting, you know, five years ago was really, really amazing stuff. So, more music, John. Yeah, you can always uh, collaborate on piano. You won't call me back, probably. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Sorry. Next, Demi Moore's four hour dance a thon. Yes, you know, Demi, you know. She's got experience dancing, and she's still doing it. Yeah, yeah. striptease, that's right. Well, she was at a gay club in Chicago last week where she apparently danced for four hours straight to all the house music. She was going crazy. Uh, a source says, though, she wanted it very private. A fan asked to take her picture, and she actually said, uh-uh-uh, no, I don't, want it. I don't want anyone to get the wrong impression. See, I think that's great, mm -hmm. because uh, that's why she looks so rockin', is because mm -hmm. she's dancing all the time. But, you know, you might not want that in us weekly. <laughs> yeah, well, it's in there anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hot to me. There you go. Didn't work. <laughs> and Rob Pattinson, everyone deserves a getaway sometime. It gets tiring being a vampire. And he went on a buddy trip recently. He was spotted driving across country and stopped off in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where uh, a source says they're having a good old time, smoking cigarettes and drinking and just chilling out. So. Uh, good job, Rob. I mean, I don't know where you're on your way to. He's probably in Texas by now, right? Or yeah, I would but, say that's probably the next yeah. logical spot. That's a long state. I've driven cross country. I mean, you got to drive like it's a whole day forever. is Texas, forever right? And yeah. Ever. But good barbecue. And finally, Matt Morrison from Glee is reuniting with an ex. He was in Hawaii last week with All My Children star Chriselle Staus. It turns out she's his ex. No his ex-girlfriend, yeah, they were, uh, you know, paddle boarding around, they were spotted holding hands, but still, a source says he was there with a lot of friends, old friends, they're not back together, it's just a whole group of friends. So. It's complicated, maybe. It's complicated. Yeah. Mm. He's very sweet. I, we, we did an event together, and I wish him the best. Yeah. I, hope, I, hope it's, I hope he's happy in love. He was on vacation, it can't be that yeah, bad. Yeah, I know. You know, paddle boarding in Hawaii, yeah, how I bad mean, can it be? Know, who gets to do that, <laughs> I mean, you know. Vampires. Exactly. And that's all the time we have left for this week. Uh, Sarah, Sarah Borellos, thank you so much Yay! for coming by this week. Yeah, oh, once again. Stop. Hey, 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 yeah, stop, stop. Uh. Anyway, I'm Ian Drew, senior editor from Us Weekly Magazine. You can get her album, Kaleidoscope Heart, today and forever after. <laughs> and you can get these items and much, much more over the next week on Newsstands Now.